History played out in the state capitol in Nashville yesterday when House Republicans expelled two Democratic representatives, Justin Jones of Nashville and Justin Pearson of Memphis. A third Democrat, Gloria Johnson from Knoxville, held on to her seat by just one vote. Those three lawmakers took to the House podium last week without permission. This was in the midst of gun reform protest at the Capitol following that mass shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville. This is video of those three Democrats last Thursday. Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton said the three broke House rules of decorum and then set the expulsion process in motion. The trio, now being called the Tennessee Three, walked into the House yesterday arm in arm, protesters by their side. Once again, Jones and Pearson were expelled. Johnson remains in the House. Well, Jesse Mayshar, co-founder and co-publisher of the online news publication Compass, is with us to further discuss the fallout of what played out yesterday. So, Jesse, thank you so much for sure, being with happy us. happy to we, be here. We appreciate it. Uh, the headlines today, both locally and nationally, we see two black Democrats, one female Democrat, two expelled, one holds on to her seat. Racism some are implying in these headlines and in their stories. Yeah, and I think that is the story that is coming across to people outside of Tennessee for sure, because the optics of it seem so stark. You had the, the three of them, uh, two young black men and, and then an older white woman, and she's the one who just barely, of course, 60, vote, 65 right? legislators still voted to expel her, uh, but she was allowed to stay. And, you know, you can kind of break that down. Oh, there was a particular reason that her case was a little different, but I, I think that the optics are so strong that that's the story people are going to take away from it, regardless of what any individual legislator may say about how they differentiated between those cases. Gloria was elected in November, mm -hmm. holds on to her seat. She has two more years. Do you think what played out is going to strengthen her in her in her post? I think most likely, yes. And also, if you look at her trajectory, she's in her fourth term now. She has actually won, and, and she's they redrew her district. So she's in a slightly different district than she was before, but she actually won that district by a larger margin than, than she had previously. She won by 18 points. And so I think she was already in a very strong position in her district, and now she's really kind of like a hometown hero, at least t to her own supporters anyway. Were you shocked? by the amount of coverage this got yesterday? I really was, uh, you know, it got national coverage, it got international coverage. I had friends all over the country who were writing me about it. People were watching it live as it happened. Uh, and this is a week where there was a lot of political news, obviously other places in the country, but Tennessee was um, right was up there very, with all of those other headlines. Disturbing Absolutely. Day repercussions you think for the Republican supermajority going forth? I, you know, in the near term, they are a supermajority. They're really kind of insulated from uh, accountability. First of all, there's not another election until next year, uh, but also the way their districts are drawn are mostly safe Republican districts. So I, I don't necessarily think there's going to be some sort of immediate impact on the legislature itself, but I think this, you know, it's always hard to know when you're in one of these moments. It feels like a big moment, but then things can kind of fall away. I do think it, it it feels like maybe a little bit of a turning point for the state Democratic Party, which has been kind of in the wilderness in some ways, but felt very unified and energized yesterday for sure. All right, Jesse Mayshark from Compass, thank you for being with us. You'll be back with us in the 5.30 half hour to further talk about what happened yesterday in the state capitol, the expulsion of two Democratic representatives, Gloria Johnson from Knoxville, holding on to her seat. Jesse, thank you. Sure thing.